How is it going today? How are we doing? Welcome to another. I have arrived. <laughs> Hello, Layla. Thank you for being here. Welcome to another Wizard 101 stream for today. A boom. There I am. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> Fun fact I still need to do the character art for uh, this outfit for our storm character so we continue the storm walker and dragon spire. But, um,. Keep forgetting i have so much art to do right now it's kind of crazy but anyway we are going to be going on our myth wizard again today for the myth walkthrough i think this one this this episode today might just kind of be like a cleanup episode though because um obviously i don't want to go right now into mushu because i want to do mushu all at once but we need our gear for um Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> what's it called uh d -d -d Mount olympus so we're like three levels away right yeah i actually uh, should we do wisteria today we could do wisteria should i okay you know what i'm gonna change the title real quick we're gonna do wisteria let's see go to twitch let me change the title we're gonna do wisteria i was gonna do Mount olympus but uh i thought we were further further ahead um Wiz Myth Walk Wisteria. Okay, that's what we're gonna do today. Instead, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so as always, I am going to get the dialogue, and yeah, we're gonna go over to the registrar. As you know, the other faculty members and I are quite impressed with your performance here at Ravenwood School. So much so. That we would like you to travel abroad Ooh. as a representative of the best wow. Wizard City has to <laughs> offer. You will compete in a magical tournament, dueling students from other magic schools for the ultimate prize, the Spiral Cup. Oh shoot, cup. the Spiral Cup, guys. It's the Spiral Cup. Sadly, Ravenwood hasn't taken the cup in a long, long while. But we can't give up trying. Mm-hmm. Please report to Mr. Lincoln in Bavenwood. He can provide you with all the details. Okay, so we gotta go to Lincoln. <laughs> Hello, Robin. Oh, shoot, you did change your name. Oh, shoot. Robin Jones, VTuber. <laughs> Sport watch, friendship is over. <laughs> Mount Olympus, yeah. I was gonna do Mount Olympus today, but I think I'll save that for another stream because um, I'm not quite there yet, and I forgot I wasn't level 30 yet. <laughs> Hello there, young wizard. I've been expecting you. Wow. The Ravenwood School of Magic must send a student wizard to participate in a spiral-wide tournament of magic. This tournament is a very prestigious event. A chance for students across the spiral to compete for their school's honor. The tournament is held at Pigswick Academy. A rival school to Ravenwood, located on the world of Wisteria. After reviewing all eligible students, Headmaster Ambrose and the other professors chose you to be our representative. You will need this ring to show that you're our champion, the student to defend Ravenwood's honor in Ooh. the tournament. Mr. Lincoln hands you a heavy ring with an emblem of Bartleby inscribed upon it. Be sure to put that somewhere safe, mind you. Perhaps lock it away in a drawer. It's too precious to carry around loose. Now the spiral door will take you to Wisteria. When you get there, see the Pigswick Academy Registrar, Mrs. Dowager. She'll get you set up and see that you're taken care of. Good wow. luck. Hi, Orly. How are you doing today, Orly? How are we doing? How are you doing? <laughs> Something about Mr. Lincoln bugs me. I think he's a really... Oh my god. Still pickles or something like that for a living. Oh my god. Honestly, you ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. Wisteria. It's kind of funny because I just did Wisteria on my Storm Wizard. <laughs> oh, tired at work. Oh, I hope you get... um. What's, what's a good word? Pep in your step. You got this, I believe in you. Hello there. You must be our visiting wizard. Welcome to Pigswick Academy. Oh, shoot. Sure. I'll need to see your Ravenwood ring. Just a formality, of course. You show Mrs. Dowager the ring Mr. Lincoln gave you. She inspects it and hands it back. Excellent. Be sure to put that somewhere safe. You're here, of course, to build a sense of community between the different magic schools and to try to win the Spiral Cup. Go to the tournament hall to take a look at it. 
Then speak to Benedict Glendeming. He is both master of arms and our judge. You will probably need to demonstrate your skills in a qualifying match. So be on the ready. When you've passed the qualifying round, return to me and we'll get you sorted out. How nice. exciting! Nice. Okay, it's time to duel. Time to duel, guys. Harry Potter type shit. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of love Wisteria because it kind of reminds me of like Harry Potter. I mean, Ravenwood rep reminds me of like Harry Potter. I just like like magic. You schools. inspect the spiral cup, the greatest prize in all the spiral. It looks like it's been here a while. Wow. It's coming home with me. Coming home with me. Greetings, visitor. I am Benedict Clem Deming. Master of Arms of Pigsvik Academy. For years, I have taught magic and dueling. With my training, Pigsvik students have won the Spiral Cup again and again. I am also the judge of this fine competition. My decisions are as fair as they are final. You come from Wizard City, no? You have my sympathy. Oh, Let shoot. us see if that charlatan Diego has taught you anything of worth. To qualify for the tournament, you must step into the Chamber of the Basilisk, if you will, and defeat Blaze Flamerender. There is no shame in defeat, so do not feel too badly if you do not succeed. Mm -hmm. Perhaps next year, no? No. <laughs> oh, shoot. Do I have TC? Okay, I got a few TC. A few to do me over. Well, well, well. A wizard of Ravenwood, huh? I'll go easy on ya. Make sure I got a troll in here so I can troll this guy. Quite literally. <laughs> Quite literally. Was this kill? Can I do like almost 600 damage? Oh, no. Close though. Okay, we might need to take Troll out for this round. Or this world, I guess. Uh, but we can't hit again. <laughs> oh. Is that Final Fantasy? I've never actually played any of those games. I could though. Do you guys want to see that? Wow! Go and tell Master Glendamit that you won the duel. I wasn't expecting much, but you certainly showed me a thing or two. Yeah, me a thing or two. <laughs> Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, I can play that for sure. I've never played any of those, but they are on my list of like games to play because I see so many people playing it, and I'm like, I want to play that. Oh, it's got a free trial? Ooh, okay, maybe we'll check that out soon then. So Diego has stepped up his game, no? Very well then. You will not be going home just yet. The tournament consists of four rounds of duels, each round against a rival school. You must win each duel to proceed. See Mrs. Dowager outside. She will see to your accommodations within the student dormitory. Accommodations? <laughs> Also, yeah, I'm not really changing on my Marleybone gear because I don't feel like I really need to. Well, maybe I could, actually. What is this, level 20? Okay, maybe we'll go and look for some once I run out of TC or something. Good for you. It's been so long since a Ravenwood student competed. I was worried they'd given up teaching magic there. Oh, shoot. Now that we've determined you'll be staying to compete in the tournament, it's time to get you squared away. You should report to the student dormitory. There you can meet the students you will be matched against and introduce yourself. You'll be sharing quarters with Beatrice Wildwind, Kisai Shugenja, Nalia Doonstrider, and uh, Randolph Spellshine. Oh my God. You should also take the opportunity to put your Ravenwood class ring away. There's a small dresser. It should be safe there. I forgot I had a light back there. <laughs> I like glanced at my tablet where my like stream manager is and I was like, something feels wrong. <laughs> oh my god. I'm a goofing. I'm goofing already. I'm goofing. Oh, guess what? Guess what? We got that lemonade. Lemonade, lemonade. Hey. <laughs> I don't actually really like lemonade, but it's it's here. It's drinkable. <laughs> I needed a drink. I don't like sour things, not gonna lie. Beatrice Wildwind. Hello, it's nice to meet you. I'm Beatrice Wildwind from Weirwood. I look forward to crossing spells with you. Good luck. See, it's sour. 
Greetings, my fellow wizard. Please allow me to present myself. Kizai Shugenja, representing Mushu in this tournament. I have longed to pit my magical skills against one of the Ravenwood School wizards. So this is fortuitous indeed. It's a pleasure to meet you, student of Ravenwood. I am called Nalia Dunstrider, and I come from a place called Mirage. I am unsurprised you have never heard of my world. It is a subtle place, an oasis in a desert of mystery. Perhaps we will speak more before the tournament. No, you can't tell Pangy I don't li like lemonade. No, it'll ruin everything. <laughs> lemonade was a banger. Yeah. Really? Okay, neon was great, but personally, lemonade is like where it's at for me. Personally, monochrome was where it was at for me. Monochrome was like the Rezo song for me. You're the Wizard City representative? Hmm, the tournament has really lowered its standards this time around, I suppose. You don't think you have a chance of winning, do you? The Spiral Cup isn't going anywhere, and I'll be the one to win it. I'm gonna roast you over a fire, slowly. Make some bacon. You place the Ravenwood class ring in the dresser. It should be safe here. You should report back to Mrs. Dowager. Heck yeah. Where you at, pig lady? I'm gonna roast you too while I'm at it. I trust you had no trouble settling in. It's time you met the headmistress of Pigswick Academy, Belladonna Crisp. She makes a point of meeting all students. Please go to the headmistress's office and introduce yourself. Please don't be late. She's oh, a strong shoot. believer in discipline. Oh shoot, guys, you better be prepared. The baddest bee in the game. <laughs> she is a model. Oh my god, look at this woman. Look at this one. Why are there people spinning in her office? Oh my god. The disrespect. Look at this woman! Who? Girl. I've been waiting. What kept you? Oh, shoot. I suppose you've been welcomed by Mrs. Dowager and passed Benedict's test, so let's dispense with the formalities. I'm not sure what claptrap and nonsense they fill your head with at Ravenwood, but at Pigswick Academy, we study real magic. The first order of business will be for you to go and meet the professors here. They're a top-notch group, without exception. I hope they can straighten out some of the foolishness Ambrose and his cronies may have passed along. The classrooms are located throughout the city. You should speak to everyone in whatever order you please. They are as follows. Professor Thaddeus Price, who teaches Tempest Magic. The Earth Professor is our very own Chester Drawls. Ember Magic is taught by Professor Anku, Edna Fuligan teaches Spirit, and Chaos is Hieronymus Bont. Rounding out our faculty are Quentin Burble teaching Frost Magic, and Velma Pepper in the Equilibrium Classroom. You look confused. You don't know those schools of magic. Speak to our faculty. Perhaps they can help. Dang, she giving me that lip smack and everything. Oh, shoot. She is a smash. She is. She absolutely 100% is a smash. Not gonna lie. Chester drawers. Welcome to the School of Earth Magic, young wizard. From the look of the soil on your boots, you're from Wizard City, right? I am Professor Drawers. Chester Drawers. What? Why are you smirking? At any rate, I teach Earth Magic here at Pigswick Academy. Magic of ground, growth, and the untamed wild. Because my school is that of the Earth, I find it stifling to teach inside, so I lecture outside whenever possible. Other schools teach flights of fancy and arcane manipulation of ethereal flummery, but Earth magic is the magic of the real. From Earth came all things, and eventually, all shall return to its clutches. Unless you have further questions, I really must return to my duties. So many papers to grade. Mm -hmm. Papers to grade. Okay. Mythid dude. My professor. Hello there! Me. Did I surprise you? I'll wager you're thinking, Whoa, is that a yeti? Teaching? I'd never expect that! Chaos! That's the sort of thing I teach here! I am Professor Hieronymus Bunch, and Chaos Magic is my school of specialization! 
Chaos is the magic of the unexpected, the unusual, the unpredictable. It defies logic and turns things down side up. Anything and everything you can imagine can be found in chaos, except order. Order is boring. You don't want to find that. We'll talk more later, I'm sure. Or am I? Or am I? Hi, Wicked Crazy. How are you doing today? How's it going? We are in the pig's wick today. What's this dude doing here? Oh my god. To read in. You better not be reading no, like, Harry Potter Draco fanfic or anything. I'll tell. I'll tell Bel Belladonna on you. <laughs> I just gotta get his fanfics in before class. Greetings, young wizard. I am Professor Thaddeus Price, professor of Tempest Magic. I suppose you're interested in learning something about Tempest Magic, right? Tempest Magic is about duality and hidden meaning. Like the tide, it's about the ebb and flow of life. Mm -hmm. The surface is stormy to be sure, but beneath it is dark and quiet and the waters are deep beyond imagining. I gather they teach a slightly different approach at Ravenwood, but I'm fairly certain that here we have it right. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uncouf. Greetings, oh honored guest from Wizard City. I am Professor Anku, your humble servant and guide to Ember Magic. Ember Magic is about warmth and security. In the cold dark of the spiral, ember is like a warm rock to stretch out on. Wizards who study ember magic are not very adventuresome and prefer the comforts of hearth and home. Ember wizards are crafters, doctors, and cooks, using flame to forge artifacts, treat injuries, or bake cookies. cookies. So from the ember we can learn much. Better to be safe and patient than to leap into action. I hope that explains things. Oh. Okay, we gotta go down now. Oh, I bought this world full with crowns earned from trivia. Ooh. A few months later, I got my first membership great experience. Oh, nice. I remember that. Those were the days, you know. Honestly, I don't think many people do the trivia anymore, but it's just, it's one of those things that it's like, it's childhood memories. It's memories. I feel like if you, if I did the trivia, maybe I'll do that one day on stream. I don't know. I feel like I can still answer all the questions correct. Well, hello there, my little friend. What brings you here? You want to learn about frost magic? You should talk to someone who knows then. Oh, that would be me. Caught me off guard, you did. Right. Where was I? What I want to know is why your top teeth are perfectly straight, but then your bottom teeth are not. I am Professor Quentin Burble at your service. You may have surmised that I am not from around these parts. I teach Pigswick Academy students about the nature of frost. Frost is fleeting and quick, a fragile and delicate thing. It appears rarely, but when it does, it forms crystals of amazing beauty and complexity. Frost is like magic in that. Bro don't know what he's talking about. Do you understand frost magic now? Because I'm afraid I don't know more than that. Lydia I'm would behind not in do my that. Lesson preparation. Lydia would never treat me in such disrespect. <laughs> oh my god, you have the game bought with crowns except for the catacombs and house of scales. Whoa. Like was it all with trivia or did she like buy uh like the crowns to like pay off the game because like I used to do that I got all the way to like Safaria and then I was like I'm just gonna buy memberships <laughs> oh shoot a clock why hello there young wizard you have the look of a newcomer to Pigswick Academy welcome to my laboratory I am Professor Velma Pepper and I teach the magic of equilibrium my school represents bringing order to the spiral. The natural world is full of confusion and disorganization, and thus it is the role of the Equilibrium Wizard to create harmony. We must use whatever tools we have in this important duty. 
All are equal, so long as they perform the task at hand. I trust that what I've taught you instills a semblance of order to your own worldview. Oh, I've always now, loved though, these. I must return to work. These columns are so cool, I wish I had them. Smart Coplos, also a great experience. I did trivia just for Wisteria, gotcha. Hi Chrono, how are you today? It's 11.47? Oh, it's 11.49 uh, where I am. I probably got that a little late, but yeah. Nice, nice. Wizard City and one area of croc. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I guess you? Is this the last teacher? I think so. Ugh! Death. Death. <laughs> Seven hours in the future. <laughs> Who dares disturb me? Oh, shoot. I kind of hmm. like her, though. You must be here for the tournament, eh? Another of those tiresome meet the professor's tours. Let yeah. me introduce myself, then. I am <laughs> Professor Edna Fulogen, and I instruct Pigswick students in spirit magic. Spirit magic concerns the ghostly state that exists after life. That? We are students of the immaterial world. I've heard of problems with Professor Malastair back at Ravenwood. Maybe his assistant Dorgan will be better. Oh, shoot. Dorgan is pretty cool, though. Just woke up and ate breakfast. Nice. Old school retro games. Pretty nice. Sounds like a nice chill morning. I ate breakfast just recently too, but um, I'm not gonna lie, um, I was wanting like kind of like brunch, and so I made some spam with like an egg, sunny side egg, and then I made some rice, and I didn't leave my rice, like I didn't put enough water in the rice, so like it was a little crunchy. <laughs> so I ate like four pieces of spam and egg. <laughs> that was breakfast. Oh shoot, do you think the ghost is a former student? Oh, theory. Somebody call MatPat. Oh wait. Somebody call Tom! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Two seconds and I forgot. Did the tour of our faculty help repair the inadequacies of your prior education? No. Perhaps when the tournament is over, you can transfer from Ravenwood to Pigswick and really learn something. I've heard that at Ravenwood, they teach you that the source of all magic is a tree. Mm -hmm. And it's in the center of your school. How awfully convenient oh, that shoot. must be. Do they really expect you to believe such nonsense? Don't you be put in no disrespect on Bartleby. At Pigswick Academy, we recognize that the source of all magic is a fountain, not a tree. And it's right here on campus. If you take a look at the fount of magic, you'll see the error of your ways. It's in the center of campus, not far from here. When you're finished, return here and let me know what you've observed. You're a student, so go on, learn something. Go on, learn something. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I did lower the audio because it was a little bit too loud. Because like sometimes when I look at my OBS, I can turn it up just a bit. Let's see, I'll turn it up about here. Because sometimes I look at my OBS and I'm like, oh, like the audio is louder than my microphone, and uh, we don't we don't want that. <laughs> we don't want that. Yeah, I turned it up just a bit more. You examine the fount of magic. Looks like any other fountain. Something doesn't add up about this place. Nope, something do not. Okay, back to Belladonna. Why is she so sassy though? And why are these people still spinning in here? What are you, what is your goal? I think it's the same person. They both have Soul Sword. Did you notice anything magical about the Fount? I mean, surely you saw how it must be the one true source of magic. No. You know, we heard from Headmaster Ambrose that you were good at solving problems. I have a mind to put that to use. I'm here for a competition, lady. Go and speak with Captain O'Hare outside the gate to Pegasus Place. Tell him I sent you and that you're there to help. I never said I was there to help. I came for a competition, my guy. I'm here to fight. 
Sorry, no admittance. Pegasus Place is off limits to students and faculty until further notice. Headmistress Crisp sent you. I'm not sure. If you're anything like the students here, I can't see how that will help. Still, if she vouches for you, then who am I to argue? Let me explain the problem and you see what you can do. Pegasus Place has been taken over by a fierce band of goblins. We don't know where they came from or how to send them back. You'd be doing us a favor if you could jump in and thin the wood goblins' ranks. Make them think twice about staying. Can you go into Pegasus' place and defeat six wood goblins and return to me when you're done? I mean, be careful in there. Uh, careful. If I must. I do have a myth blade. Okay. We'll kind of wait on our little frog guy, I guess. On our froggy frog. Also, okay, you guys let me know. Should I do the storm walkthrough also live? Like, if I did the storm walkthrough on, like, stream here, I, it would only be for, like, an hour. Um, I would, like, stream for about an hour for, um, the storm walkthrough. And then I would, like, cut and then make that episode. And I could, like, go for another hour and stream another hour. Or I could play, like, another game or just in there. But should I do, like, the... I guess I should say, like, the storm walkthrough and, um, the swashbuckler pirate 101 walkthrough, like, on stream. So that way, like, I don't know. I just feel like... I don't know, I just feel like I'm having a hard time getting motivated to play games off stream now. <laughs> but I gotta make that content, you know? Oh, you're playing pirate right now? Heck yeah! Where's your storm? Um, we are just about, like, to start Dragonspire. Like, the next time that I record will be Dragonspire. So, um, I do need to make the character, like, art for my thumbnail. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking, like that I might stream it. It would only be like an hour long episode. Because like, I, I did make a poll once and asked people if they would like to see, um, like, longer episodes for the walkthroughs. And a lot of people were like, yeah, longer episodes. So I'm thinking about like taking a lot of my series on the channel and like making them streamed, but only doing them at like an hour long. And then like I'll cut or I'll do another episode or something else. You certainly sent some of them packing. Things might be a little safer now that they know not to mess with you. Our head gardener, groundskeeper Vern, is missing. Can you go back into Pegasus' place again and see if he's all right? Well, yes, do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like that. I might actually do that. I might just because, like, I don't know. I I have a lot of fun streaming. I like talking to you guys in the middle of like uh, doing like these little quests and stuff. Why, hello? What are you doing here? This place isn't safe for students. Wisteria was once wild and overgrown with vines, but we cut them back and made this place a school. Pigswick Academy. I am groundskeeper Vern, head gardener around here. It is my job to know every inch of these streets and parks. These goblins and their hobgoblin overseers are new, arriving just when the tournament was to begin. They're not native to this world of Wisteria, so I would like to know where they came from. Since they arrived, some strange new plants have sprung up on Pegasus Place, and I suspect they're tied to the new visitor. Can you go and collect three samples of these strange plants so I can do some research into their world of origin? Strange plants. I feel like I missed one back there. I think there was one back there at least. If I did, I got a port. Which is something I've learned after uh, playing Wisteria recently for the Storm Wizard, is that um, I need a lot of ports apparently back to uh, Groundskeeper Vern, because like we are always talking to him for like everything. We gotta go back and talk to him. Okay, is there another one over here? A strange plant. Strange plant. Any strange plants? Dang, where are the strange plants? There's probably one by him. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Vern. Wonderful. 
I'll compare these to my field journal, Plants of the Spiral, and see what I can learn. With the guards afraid to enter Pegasus' place, the area's undefended. What's the area? Well, it's the stables where we raise Pegasi to be trained as mounts and gifted throughout the spiral. That's actually kind of funny. If you're up to it, could you check on Lap and Wing Tamer, the stable master of the area? The area is just down the street. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna lie, two of the mounts that like I had on my previous was account um, that I really want now are the Pegasus and the uh, little like white stag. Like I have a stag. Um, it's like a Christmas stag that I got from uh, the little genie in the shopping district, but like, it's not the white stag, you know, but it's at least, it's a stag. But like, I still like really want um, the Pegasus, because they're like my favorites. So I hope they put those in that little shop, because that's honestly where I get my mounts. Whoa, I dared not hope anyone would come to find me with the goblin horde all around. I don't know who was crazy enough to send a kid into this place, but as far as I'm concerned, any help is welcome. My first concern is for the well-being of the Pegasi under my care. Can you help me see to their feeding? Unfortunately, the goblins came through and stole all of their food. I don't know why, because they don't even eat the stuff. Tell you what, if you want to help, you'll get back five bags of Pegasus feed. You'd be a oh. lifesaver. Is there other people in this realm? Oh, shoot, I just saw it respawn. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna leave the realm with a lot of people. <laughs> just because um, it's my chow. It's my chow, not theirs. Um, I need feed. Okay, there's some over here. <laughs> Honestly, though, Ambrose needs to, like, you know, understand. We're kids. We're like, I, I don't know. I think... For the wizard's age, I would assume they're like kind of like maybe anywhere from preteen to like teenager. You know, like I would say like at the start, maybe they're like 13, 14. And then like, like I'm just kind of basing that off of like, you know, for example, Harry Potter. Like I think Harry is like 11 or something. First time he goes to school. I need respawn. Respawn. But yeah, like. I feel like the wizards are kind of like, you know, they're still kind of kids. And here we are battling the, the biggest, most deadly, most scary um, bad guys in the spiral. Unsupervised. We're just like out here journeying. Like, I just don't feel like, you know, that's safe. <laughs> just don't know about that. Um, maybe the world of magic has different... Uh, you know, terms for letting kids beat people up. Well, good work. That reminds me of an old joke. What do Pegasi like to eat? Flapjacks! Oh, shoot. <laughs> well, thanks for your help. I'd feel much better, though, if I were able to lock the Ares doors against the Goblin Horde. I left my keys inside, but they were stolen by the Hobgoblins mm -hmm. when they ransacked the place. Could you recover the stable keys from the Hobgoblin who took them? When you get them, bring them back to me. Bring them back to me, yeah. Okay. Hobgoblin. <laughs> Professor Oak. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I don't really have anything. Great. Um, 35 on you, I guess. I guess, I guess. <laughs> as long as they don't shield, I am happy with that. Sometimes they can do spirit shields. Usually, like, balance will always do elemental. Please. Okay, yeah, like I was saying, elemental. They hardly ever do spirit. Because I genuinely feel like the majority of players in this game are, like, elemental like wizards because like you always see like balance doing elemental like, it's hardly ever a, a spirit shield they're very rare for balance especially early on get out of here oh where am i going where am i going this way this way 
Yeah, I want these so bad. They're so pretty. These little Pegasus. I wish you could customize them, though. They would be great ones to customize. You've done it. Thanks to you, the area will be secure. When the Goblin Horde first arrived, I did some scouting to see what was going on. I saw where they came from. The Goblin sprung from a magical portal down the street. You should take a look at it and tell Groundskeeper Vern. Uh-huh. Groundskeeper Vern. Like I said, we have to teleport to him so many times throughout this world. It's like, he knows more than Belladonna Crisp, to be fair. He knows just a little bit more than everyone else. You examine the magic portal. It would be risky to interfere with it without understanding it. You should describe it to Groundskeeper Vern. Maybe he's figured out where those plants came from by now. Okay, Vern. I remember the port. Hmm. Those plants you collected for me earlier were listed as native to the world known as Weirwood. If the goblins are coming through a magic portal, then it stands to reason that they are from Weirwood as well. A student from Weirwood came to the tournament. Beatrice Wildwind, I think her name was. Uh, maybe you've met her. Maybe you can ask her if she knows anything about this magic portal. I'd hate to think she was responsible, but best to check. Um. Okay, you know what? Speaking of Tower of Elephants, since it's right there, have you guys ever done the Tower of Elephant? Because I have not. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, in all my years of Wiz, I have not done the Tower of Elephant. Like, I've seen people do it, but I feel like it's one of those dungeons that, like, People just don't really do that much anymore. Like, it's not that good anymore. And it's it used to be pretty hard from what I remember. But, like, I just don't feel like it's one of those dungeons that, like, you know... People would keep coming back to it or anything. You did it once? Mmm. I think I watched uh, Blaze and Blue do it one time. And then I was like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna do Tower. <laughs> What's that? A magic portal? From my world? From what you describe, the plant is wild viridian. It grows native to Weirwood, where I come from. The goblins like to use it as a seasoning, so they plant it wherever they go. If it's here on Wisteria, it's their doing. A goblin portal is dangerous to meddle with, but I know of an incantation that can close it, never to return. We'll need some ingredients for the incantation, and those can be found in the Merchant Street, here in Pigswick Academy. Here's a list of ingredients. Visit the merchants listed and return to me when you have the items on my list. Beatrice copies a list of ingredients from her spell book and gives it to you. Some of these items seem a little strange. Mm-hmm. Ooh, if people want a ring, I think they should go for the secret boss in Mount Olympus. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What's his name? It's not Cronus. It's, like, something behind, like, where the gladiator, like, thing is. I don't think- I don't know if I ever got the ring, to be fair, because I- I didn't really, um, fight him a lot. Hello? Thank you. A spindle of enchanted thread, spun from fog and spiderweb? I have that right here. Gladiator something, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't think I ever actually fought that guy. I mean, I did fight him, but I didn't, like, pay attention or anything. Demacarius or something? A crystal? Made of the dried tears of a cyclops? <laughs> Those are on special this week. Okay, why is that on special this week? That's kind of weird. Imagine. Let me in. Rainbow ink from a sky squid. Rainbow ink. You're in luck. The shipping from Imperia just came in. Oh shoot, Imperia dropped. Name dropped Imperia. <laughs> I love when they do that. When they like drop the name of a world like years before it even comes out. Some adamant metal filings? Sure, I have that laying around. I usually throw it back in the kiln to melt again. Oh. I'm probably not saying that right. Demacarius, maybe? I don't know. You would think, considering I'm rereading Percy Jackson, that I should be able to say these names better. <gasps> but I am not. A flask of breath caught from a night gaunt. I'm pretty oh. sure I have one somewhere. From a You're night gaunt. You're welcome to it. A night gaunt. Why'd she say it like that? 
Night gone. I don't know. <laughs> Some of their voices are really funny. Very exaggerated. There, that should do it. Bad news. I looked at my spell book and I realized I have the ingredients for the ritual, but I don't have the incantation. They should have a copy of it at the library here in Pigswick Academy. Could you go to the library and get it? I think the librarian is named Hugo Chatterley. Tell him it's of utmost importance. Level 28 spell, what is that? We'll go see Mr. Baldman in a little bit. <laughs> in a little bit. I don't know what 28 he has to give me, to be fair. I don't remember if it's a quest or not. I think it is, though. An incantation to dispel a goblin portal? That's not exactly the sort of spell we let new students meddle with. That's in the restricted collection. I can only release the incantation with the permission of the headmistress. Speak to headmistress Crisp and return to me with the permission slip. It's but a formality, but rules are rules. Okay, I was looking at Cyrus over here. They sound very similar. Do they have the same voice actor? Because listen. It's time to test you. Come see me. You know, it occurs to me. Rather right? Same voice actor, maybe? Same VA, maybe? Maybe? They teased Imperia six years before and Wallaroo eight years? Oh, shoot. Dang. I mean, oh, I forgot. I can't wedge through them. <laughs> but yeah, like, that's just, it's so funny. Like, when they tease the world to areas or something. And also, like, I think Weirwood was supposed to be, was supposed to be, like, weird, the weird or something like that in Avalon. And then they changed it from what I remember. Because I know a lot of people were saying something about Avalon because obviously that fairy, like, the sprite is like a, a model from Avalon. What's this? I send you to help Captain O'Hare and the next I hear from you, you're talking about dispelling goblin portals? Very well then. I'm getting a clearer picture of how Ambrose runs his school. <laughs> and believe me, it's not a pretty picture. Wow. Take this back to Chatterley and tell him he's to help you to the best of his abilities. Is that all? Headmistress Crisp hands I am Oh my god, side quest! Get out of here with the side quest. She does touch her hair quite a bit. Not gonna lie. It's already perfect, honey. You got the spray and everything up there. She probably uses so much hairspray, so much, like, gel that it is perfectly slick. Like, you might- you touch it and it's like hard as a rock. <laughs> Excellent! I took the liberty of copying the incantation you need while you were speaking with Headmistress Crisp. Use it with caution. Hugo Chatterley hands you a strip of parchment paper with the incantation written carefully upon it. You know- No, I don't know. Don't you side quest me. I'm not gonna have it. We're not gonna do this. Not today. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> you know what? I would really love if Wiz would add some more hairstyles. Like, I don't even care if they're, like, for, um, like, crowns or something. I just want more hairstyles. Like, what I want is, like, long hairstyles, you know? Because I was just, like, looking at my ponytail back here, and I was like, I drew the ponytail pretty long for, like, the art of this character for the thumbnails for like YouTube and I'm just like I wish that they actually did something like that just like give us long hair give us more hairstyles please you can never have too many hairstyles in a game like this wonderful I hope it wasn't any trouble if you're the only one who has permission to enter Pegasus place you'll have to perform the incantation yourself just take the items you collected from the merchants and the incantation you got from the library and follow the instructions you should check in with groundskeeper Vern before you do anything. He should know what to expect if it goes badly. Oh, thanks. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I hope. Thanks. You hope. You came back? Don't you realize this place is doomed? You brought a means of dispelling the magic portal and all of the ingredients. Let me see that. There is a problem. The final ingredient in the spell requires the soul stone of the leader of the Goblin Horde. The goblins have spoken fearfully of Lord Graustark. 
I suspect that whoever he is, he's lurking in the tower down the street. You should go and defeat this Lord Graustark and collect his soul stone, the source of his magic. Only then can you use the incantation to dispel the portal. Return to me when you have done that impossible deed. Impossible deed. Yeah, sure. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of like the goblins as like little like minions or what they call them? mobs. Mobs. I like them. I think they're cool. Like, okay, compared to these, like the hobgoblins or the wood goblins, compared to like the fire elves in Firecat Alley, I would take these guys any day. Like, I don't know what they did, what kind of crack the developers were smoking when they decided to, like, make the elves even creepier than they already were. Because, like, they're already terrifying. I don't know why you had to, like, give them these big-ass creepy smiles and stuff. Like, come on. They are so horrible. I'll take the hobgoblins any day. Any day. Also, I think this guy's myth. I think he's myth at least. I think. Could be wrong, but I think. Yeah. Is it time already for my afternoon snack? I don't remember placing an order for wizard, but you'll do. Mm. Also, I I feel like these are also kind of like teasers for like like I feel like Wisteria was like a teaser for Avalon. Like I don't remember when Wisteria came out compared to when Avalon came out, but like I they honestly did they just reused really so many like sprites from um Avalon, like uh the Weirwood girl, the fairy, whatever her name was. <laughs> I already forgot. Um and also uh these little goblins. I forgot like about Nosebiter. And I was like, you remind me of Nosebiter because that's the exact same model, just like different colors. <laughs> oh, so Belladonna really wants a student that is from another world to solve their problems instead of actually making the professor solve the case. Yeah, honestly. I mean, if that would be the case with Syria, it would take like five minutes. Yeah, for real. For real. Um... Okay, this is Storm, so I'm gonna hit this guy real quick. I think Avalon came a year later. Ah. Okay, my my little thing is not gonna do that much, but it doesn't really matter. It's Storm. That makes sense, though. Maybe they're just, like, testing out the models. My tools that can speak or something. Boom. Okay, uh, we'll do this. Oh, can you believe they released Avalon and Azteca in the same year? Honestly, because, like, it usually takes a while to, like, for them to get out worlds. And, like, considering that Avalon and Azteca are, like, really big worlds, like, big storyline worlds and pretty long worlds as well, it's kind of crazy. And I'm so glad I crit. Oh my god, please kill. Please. Thank you. I love the power of crit. Oh. You find a small, gleaming gem, shimmering with power. This must be the soul stone groundskeeper Vern spoke of. Mm. Maybe they had a bigger budget and a bigger team. Maybe, yeah, because that was kind of in like the uh the heyday of like Wiz, and I do like I remember seeing something whether it was like an article or a TikTok or something about people saying that like you know especially like during the pandemic a couple of like people from like the team of like Kings Out were like laid off. So you maybe. follow the instructions in the incantation using the items you gathered and the soul stone to power it. When you finish the incantation, the magic portal vanishes. No more goblins will come through it. By the great tree, you've done it! He said the Lord great tree! Lord Graustark will trouble this street no longer! He said the great tree! He said the great tree! Belladonna is a fraud! It's not a fountain, it's a tree. You should tell Headmistress Crisp the wonderful news! Be proud of what you've accomplished. Yeah, be proud of what you've accomplished. Okay, let's go here. Doo -doo. So that's area one, I guess. Pixwick. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Belladonna, how you doing? What's that? You've impressed me. Maybe you've been able to learn a thing or two about magic, despite your training. Wow. Though your aid in the Pegasus place matter is appreciated, it will not affect your participation in the tournament. Speaking of, it is time for you to report to Mrs. Dowager. The first round of magical dueling is about to commence. Oh, shoot. Magical dueling. Okay. Let us go to Miss Dowager. Can I please thank you? Get some mana. Thank you. Dowager. Why, hello again. I hope you've had a relaxing time settling in. Look at the time. The tournament should commence soon. Oh, but I've yet to give the students copies of the tournament rule. Could you be a dear and help me out? I need you to go give copies of the rules to each of the competitors. Here is one for your own use. And copies for Beatrice Wildwind, Kisai Shugenja, Nalia Dunstrider, and Randolph Every time. Spellshine. You can find them all in the student dormitory. Return to me when you've given them their tournament rules. Okay, I am gonna go to the bathroom real quick. So I'm gonna put you guys on the BRB screen so you can, guys can listen to some beautiful wish music and I will BRB. Okay, we're back. We're back. Had to go use the bathroom and get some water. You gotta hydrate so you don't dehydrate. Because I'm almost out of my lemonade. So I just like chug some water. <laughs> Hopefully that means I won't have to pee soon. Because I did in fact gulp some water. Because like I said, I ate Spam this morning. And Spam, like I ate a few pieces. But like it's just so like oily. It just makes you feel oily on the inside, you know? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But you know, like... I don't know, there's something about spam and like the the jelly or whatever. Uh, it's, that sounds so gross, but you know what I mean. The tournament rules? Thank you. It'll be great to duel. I can't wait to see what you've got. Can you help? No. I went to look around. No, shut but up. I suspect that shut you're up. Most excellent. I was concerned about the lack of formalities. I will now meditate on the coming duel. Muda's smile upon you. Thank you, Muda. You have my thanks. It is wise for them to enforce rules to this tournament. Best for the safety of all. 
Can you help? No! Honestly, honestly, the side quests bug me so much. Rules? I don't need mm -hmm. any stinking rules. I've got this tournament in the bag. What do you mean? I'm gonna put you on a skillet, cook you up, fry you into some bacon. Crispy pig bacon. Thank you. Now that that little matter is out of the way, we can get started. It is what you came here for, after all. Before you compete for the Spiral Cup, there is a time-honored tradition students have when they want good luck for a test. You should go into the tournament hall and knock on the spiral cup. It rings like a bell. But now it is time for your first magical duel. Off now, and good luck. Thanks. I mean, technically I already did like a qualifying round, so like that was kind of my first magical duel, but I guess you mean of the tournament, so I, I'll let you pass for now. Also, I'd like to just get to see, like, Diego, Diego, if we can say that, Malastare, and, um, Ambrose over there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool little nod. The Spiral Cup is missing. Oh, shoot. How could that be? Oh, shoot. Maybe Benedict Glendeming knows what has happened. I can't believe you've done this. There you are. I noticed the Spiral Cup was missing, and I wanted to see how you would react to that. This is quite suspicious. With the Spiral Cup missing, the tournament will be a mockery. Pigsvik Academy will be known as the school that lost the prize. Well, don't lose the prize then. <laughs> you should inform Mrs. Dowager about this. She will know what to do. Will she? We need a big painting of Belladonna. Yes, we do. That is the main feature of my room. I would have a whole castle just Belladonna pictures. That's it. Nothing else. No furniture. The what is what? Oh yeah, she definitely knows what to do. <laughs> do not worry over much. I am certain that the spiral cuff will turn up sometime soon. It must just be a terrible mistake. If it was taken deliberately, it was undoubtedly the work of someone attempting to discredit Pigswick Academy. No matter. Even without the cup, the tournament must continue Girl, without you gotta quit delay. This. Please report to Benedict in the tournament hall to start. I swear they are antsy with the side quest. They're like, take my side quest. Take it. Take it. <laughs> like, dang, I don't want to. Mrs. Dowager is right. The Spiral Cup is but a prize. What is important is the skill and courage that wins it. We will see about finding the cup in due course. But now it is time for your duel. You are matched against Kisai Shugenja, our representative from Mushu. You must face one another in the Hall of the Hydra. Return here when the duel has a winner. I think he might be myth or balance. I want to say myth though. He looks like a myth wizard just based off his colors. Greetings, O oh honorable opponent. Balancing. Though I will defeat you, I hold for you the greatest respect. You see what I mean? He's got the myth colors. Like he literally matches me, but he's balanced. That's just like is so off-putting, throwing, off-throwing. I don't know, off-putting maybe. Maybe that's the correct way to say that. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna use my frog. Um, did I put a 30, 35, okay. 30 and a 35. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and use frog. If I could crit, that would be absolutely amazing. Okay, there we go. Dead. Thank you. You were the worthiest opponent I have yet dueled. I have learned much from this encounter. And I thank you for the lesson. Master Glen Deming awaits word of the outcome of our duel. Could you deliver it to him? That I can. I'll tell him that you lost and you can go on home because there's no use for you to be here anymore. <laughs> also, wands. I just realized you got Malastare's whole ass staff in there. Like, <laughs> did you steal that for him before I got to Dragonspire? Like, what the heck? How did they have it? You are the victor? I am surprised. Young Shugenja is quite the duelist. Perhaps Diego taught you something after all. On the matter of the disappearance of the Spiral Cup, I have examined the area and made an important finding. 
Congratulations on your victory. You should tell Mrs. Dowager what has transpired and deliver this to her, will you? Benedict hands you a small sealed pouch with his stamp upon it. Oh, thanks. Totally don't know what's about to happen or anything because I totally didn't just finish this world on my storm character or anything like that. Ha ha ha. <laughs> the first round goes to Ravenwood. Yeah. What's this? A pouch from Glen Deming? Let me see what's inside. It is vitally important that someone tell Headmistress Crisp that the spiral cup has been misplaced. Can you do it? Report to her office and let her know that we are still Every time! Board. Please give this pouch to her and do not open it. You have got to quit with the side quests. No one's gonna ever want to talk to you again. Oh my god. Okay, Belladonna. Belladonna. Did you finish Cool Ranch? Yes, yes I did. I finally finished Cool Ranch on my Swatch Buckler. And we're about to start Mushu. I heard about your victory in the first round. It's like... But what's this I hear about the Spiral Cup? And what's in that little pouch? Why don't you open it and look? Benedict Glendimming has sent me a piece of evidence that points to the identity of the one who made away with the Spiral Cup. Before I make any accusations, I would like you to go to the student dormitory and bring your Ravenwood ring back here. It is probably in the small dresser you were assigned. Please do fetch it at once. Every time with a side quest. I started Mushu when you came in chat. Nice, nice, nice. I'm so excited for Mushu. I'm honestly in Pirate. I'm excited for Mushu and Marleybone. <laughs> Because I feel like, you know, Marleybone especially is so goaded in Pirate compared to what it is in uh, Wiz, not gonna lie. I, I think I like it more in Pirate. I don't really know too much about Mushu though. I know a little bit about like the prison stuff in Marleybone, so that's why I think it's cool. But yeah, I'm so excited to start that. You searched the dresser for the Ravenwood ring Mr. Lincoln gave you, but... It is missing. Missing, was it? Exactly as I thought. Is this what you were looking uh, for? See, like I said in the walkthrough, this just kind of proves that we're innocent. Because if you know that the ring is in the pouch, and you tell us to go fetch our, our ring, we don't know that it's missing. So we're like, okay, I'll go get my ring. You know, that just kind of shows that we did not, you know, do anything with the ring. Headmistress Crisp opens the small pouch from Benedict. And out falls your school ring. Glenn Dimming claims this was found at the scene of the crime. It seems highly suspicious. Almost too easy? Headmaster Ambrose must wish to regain the spiral cup, so I wonder if he has sent you to take it by trickery. Still, leaving such an obvious clue at the scene of the crime is such a dunder-headed move. Yeah. Even for a student of Ravenwood. Yeah. Even for... Despite the loss of the Spiral Cup, the, the tournament will not be stopped, which means you must return to the tournament hall. Speak with Master Glendimming and see who you are due to complete Oh my god. Next. Return to me when you have completed your match. Oh my god, you have got to quit with the, the, the side quest. I can't. I can't deal with the side quest. Oh my god, the side quest. <laughs> the sides... Someone's talking in the chat. Oh my god. Talking in the world. Using the chat. <laughs> exactly. If I would steal something, it would be an item from her room. Nothing specific or thieving at all. Mm. Headmistress Crisp wants to continue the tournament. Very well, then. Your next duel is in the Hall of the Harpy. I have drawn lots to see who you will compete with. This round, you must pit your magic skills against Beatrice Wildwind. Speak to her once you get inside the Hall of the Harpy, and begin when you are both ready. The winner must report back to me. I'm not gonna lie, I would steal her little, like, red hair band that she's got in her hair, so that way she can't put her hair up. Just to be mean, that's what I would do. <laughs> that thing up there, I'd steal that. Are you ready to begin? I haven't come all the way from Weirwood to lose this match, mm -hmm. so don't expect any mercy. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm <laughs> like I said in the um. Oh, don't you dare! 
Oh my god. No way. She's actually goaded. <laughs> no way. No way she just did that. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I cannot believe the disrespect. <laughs> Dang. I need to abracadabra myself now. That's insane. <laughs> wow. You. you did match, for a minute. Though. Maybe I'll have better luck next year. For a minute, you actually did. I'm sure Master Glendeming will want to hear the outcome of the duel. Can you tell him? No, I I'm gonna go cry in a corner for a few seconds. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> she said, "Not today. You're not one shutting me one round. Not today." You won. Congratulations. Though this does not clear you from suspicion. Oh, thanks. Report back to Headmistress Crisp in her office. I'm sure she has more questions for you. Yeah, okay, sure. More questions. I need to go sit in a corner and cry, because that was just awful. That was actually evil. Wildfire Trent. What? Trent? That's how you say that? Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll have better luck next year. It's been 13 years. Where are you? For real, for real. Hi, Void. Welcome. <laughs> honestly, enough from Ravenwood. L win the cup. We do, honestly. These people are just prejudiced here. You've returned with the air of victory about you. Very impressive. If you wish to prove your innocence, you'll need to do a bit of detective work. Of course. Work. Go to the tournament hall and inspect the area where the spiral cup was taken, where Benedict claimed to find your ring. Inspect the area. See if you can find anything that proves you aren't the culprit. Return to me with your findings. Hell yeah, Bon- Belladonna. Best character in game. I don't know what they put in her character model, but we need more. <laughs> we need more. Whoever pitched the idea at King's Isle for Belladonna, I hope you you know that we appreciate you. Like, for real. <laughs> Look at her. The character art, too. Oh, my God. They did not have to make her that fine. You find a few tiny leaves, pieces of bark, and some strands of vine. They don't look like they belong here. That may have been tracked in by the thief. The clues you found might help us determine the guilty party. Perhaps someone tracked in those bits of leaf and bark. Groundskeeper Vern knows all there is to know about the plants found oh, on Wisteria. Course. Maybe he can help you. Take those scraps of plant to Groundskeeper Vern on Pegasus Place and tell me what you learn. Tell me what you learn. Every freaking time. Always have to go back. Like I said, the whole entirety of Pigswick is just like going back and forth to Vern. He's like the only one who knows how to do anything in this world, apparently. He is honestly the most useful character in Pigswick. We're in Wisteria, I guess, not Pigswick. That's the Academy. Let me take a look at those. That plant isn't anything native to Wisteria. Ask Professor Drawers outside the Earth classroom. He'll know. Oh, shoot. <laughs> We're a lot farther into this than I thought. <laughs> I was like, thinking that this stream was gonna take about like maybe like two and a half to three hours for the entirety of um, Wisteria, but dang, I didn't know it would be that quick to get to this part. This is one of my favorite parts of this world. What's up? Hmm, very interesting. Where did you find this, you say? It looks like the mysterious new growth that overruns all of Tanglewood Way, but there is no way to be sure. Pity the street is closed off to all students. The Spiral Cup will never be recovered, and Pigswick will suffer for it. I suggest returning to Headmistress Crisp and telling Dang. her that this investigation is at a dead end. It honestly, it's such a short world. Like, when I did my storm walkthrough for it on YouTube, it was like, I think three episodes? Three episodes, because like the first one was like about 30 minutes, the second one was about an hour, and then the last one was about 20 minutes. Oh, I didn't know I had a port. Oh, 
No one was able to identify the mysterious pieces of plant. Most suspicious. All of us at Pigswick Academy must maintain decorum in this trying time. And that means continuing with the tournament. To the tournament hall with you then, where you must meet with Master Glendeming and compete in your next match. Return here when you have completed your duel to continue our investigation into the Spiral Cup's disappearance. Mm -hmm. I really like the music here. It's very nice and relaxing. I'm not gonna lie. It feels like a school. It feels like something that would be in Harry Potter. Honestly, a lot of the music in this game feels like it should be in Harry Potter. I'm afraid your duel is delayed. You must face Naria Doonstrider in the Hall of the Spectre, but she is nowhere to be found. Can you go to the student dormitory and see if she is still there? Warn her that if she does not show, the duel is forfeit. No, oh, shoot. Nalia, what the heck? Dang, where is all the mana? Somebody out here snatching the mana? I'm coming for you soon. <laughs> Dang, okay, here it is. Mana. Thank you. See, okay, full health, full mana. Nalia. Also, to be fair, she also is kind of like a nod for, um, oh, I just forgot the name, uh, Mirage. I'm ruined, my wand. I lost it somewhere and I can't compete without it. I know we're competitors, but can you help me? I was with Randolph Spellshine when I lost it. My world of Mirage has few plants, and I wanted to see Tanglewood Way. Randolph agreed to help me sneak in to see the street, but it was full of strange and scary tree people. I had to flee. Maybe Randolph Spellshine knows where my lost wand might be. Could you speak to him and see if he saw where I lost it? Really? Nalia has lost her wand? Whoa. It's a miracle she knows this at all. What kind of wizard loses their wand? I mean, he do, he do kind of got a point. Sure, she dropped it in Tanglewood Way when she fled in fear. I suppose I could have said something, but why would I? If she can't keep track of her wand and it wow. harms her in the tournament, more power to the rest of us, eh? Draco Malfoy wannabe. Go and tell Nalia her wand is still there in Tanglewood Way. If... It's on Tanglewood Way? Oh no, I can't go back there. When Randolph Spellshine and I went into Tanglewood Way, we convinced Lieutenant Roger to let us through the gate. Could you go and see if Lieutenant Roger will let you into Tanglewood Way so you can find and return my missing wand? They are literally like a wall's length away from each other. I'm sure they could hear each other talk. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Mirage was five years after this? Dang. She was the Mirage Leaker? <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, there are a lot of these people are pigs. <laughs> Hold it right there. No one else will enter this street. Two students got in earlier and they barely escaped. If you're looking for a missing wand, you might ask Sergeant Harvey over there. He may have seen it before we closed the way. The way. Sorry, I haven't seen any wand, but then I wasn't really looking when I turned tail and ran right out of there. Uh. If you want to go into Tanglewood Way and find that lost wand, there's a small crack in the wall. You can wriggle right through. Wriggle right through. Oh, I thought that was going to be dialogue, huh? Huh? Green man. I used to hate these guys. I'm so glad. This looks like it might belong to Nalia. You should check in with Sergeant Harvey. Then take it back to her. Looking around, you notice a lot of greenery that looks suspiciously like the plants you found in the tournament hall. Like I was saying, <laughs> I learned from my uh, storm wizard that um, I think you can get these guys their drop on the first uh, battle with them. Like I remember when you used to have to do like the three battle, like collect three, and like it was so hard to get those drops. I. I love that they changed it, because that was ridiculous. You found it! Good work, that. I'm sure Nalia Doonstrider will want to see it back soon. Nice, okay. I love helping my competitors just to beat them. And show them how bad they really are. <laughs> Even though I like Nalia. She's, she's kind of pretty. She is pretty. Not just kind of. She's pretty. 
Yeah, she's pretty. My wand! I've been beside myself with worry. Thank you so much. Now that I've got my wand, I'm ready to duel. You should go tell Master Glendeming that I'll be there shortly. I'll see you in the tournament hall in the Hall of the Spectre. Hall of the Spectre? How do you already know? I thought Glendeming told us where to go. Maybe she knows in advance, because it's always like they're always in the room before we get there, so. It's kind of weird. Not gonna lie, that they're there before we do. For real, we don't see her with the wand, it's always the sword. Honestly. So, Nalia Doonstrider will be gracing us with her presence, will she? I applaud you for your sportsmanship. If she had not shown up for the duel, you would have won by default. Go to the Hall of the Spectre and show her what you're worth. And return to me when the duel is completed. I'll shoot when it's completed. Hall of the Spectre. It's a pretty creepy photo, too, of the Spectre. Once again, I thank you for your effort recovering my lucky wand. I will not pull any punches in our duel, though. Mm-hmm. I will. I swear to God, if you tower shield or something... Oh my god, they are actually not playing today. They are actually not playing. Okay, we'll just use our frog next, I guess. I honestly did jinx that. I always do that. Okay, I need my frog. Thank you. Frog. Get. Get him, froggy. Oh, shoot. Okay, I was gonna say I better not fizzle. <laughs> I've learned not to speak before something happens because I'll jinx it apparently. And I crit too, nice. Get out of here. I am indebted to you. You showed me courtesy and sportsmanship, and still you defeated me soundly. Tell Master Glendeming that you were the winner today. Good luck to you. I hope you are the one who wins the tournament. Aww. Okay, don't worry, Nalia. I am the one who wins the tournament. Also, I think that's all of our uh, competitors except for uh, Randolph. Got them all out of the way. You just might take the prize. I'm watching the standings of all other competitors, and you're one of the few unbeaten wizards. I trust Headmistress Crisp has more business with you. Business concerning the recovery of the spiral cop. Okay, well, good thing I got a port to her. I'm astonished. You're doing quite well. Would that Wizard City had seen fit to compete these past few years. So, you claim to have seen something like those pieces of plant from the tournament hall in Tanglewood Way, right? I think the logical choice is to report to Sergeant Harvey at Tanglewood Way and see if he can help you learn more. Mm hmm. Okay, Sergeant Harvey. Okay, all the way to Harvey. Now we can finally go into Tanglewood Way. I kind of like Tangled Way. It's kind of short-lived, but um, it's like it's a little hard, but you know that's not necessarily a bad thing for like Wiz. Oh, I knew you'd be back before too long. Oh, I can't help you with the green man who've overrun Dang. Tanglewood Way, even if you're sure they took the spiral cup. I suggest defeating several of them and seeing if they drop pieces of leaf, bark, and vine like the ones you found. Go into Tanglewood Way. When you've gathered some of that evidence, bring it back to me, and we'll compare. You notice that all of the creatures on this street move and act as if they're part of a single being. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see about these guys. They might be a little bit difficult. So I'm a, actually, I don't know. I do remember one of them healing one time and really screwing me over. <laughs> but um, if we can get a crit, I think we'll be fine. Also, I need to go get my, uh, spirit blade from, uh, Cracktopia. Forgot about that. We got a few things that we'll have to do at the end of this episode. Like, we need to go to Cyrus, and then we'll go to Cracktopia. And we'll do a little bit of, like, bizarre stuff, because I do want to check, since it is a new month, my pet field. 
I do want to check um, if that little, I forgot what his name is, the genie guy in the shopping district, if he has um, any new mounts or anything. Because I don't really want the dragonfly. <laughs> it would be nice eventually when I get to Chrysalis to have it for the walkthrough, but I don't know. Okay, finally. Boom. Okay, nice. Get out of here. Oh, I got it already. Yeah, see, I love that it's like a guaranteed drop. There's another amount, but I forget which. Oh, since I'm not actually getting tokens. Ah, uh, gotcha. Let's see what you've gathered. It looks like the scraps you took from the green men match those from the tournament hall. Why would they steal the spiral cup? When the green men first appeared, groundskeeper Vern studied them a bit. Maybe he can tell you more. Like I said, we always have to go to Groundskeeper Vern. He's the only one with any knowledge in here. Like, I swear he's got more knowledge than, like, the teachers. We just have to keep going back to the Seder. He's old. He's wise. He knows everything there is to know about Wisteria. And it's probably because he believes in Bartleby. Not the freaking fountain. Stupid ass fountain. He believes in the tree like he should. Like a real wizard. Okay, let me get this real quick. I don't know much more than you do, but the Earth Magic Instructor, Professor Drawers, is the real expert on the green men. He did a lot of work in Tanglewood Way examining them when they first appeared. He ordered the street to be closed. Go speak to him outside his classroom. Drawers should help you get to the bottom of things. Yeah, he helps us all right. He helps us. He done do help us all right. It's okay. Do do do. Ever wonder who abandons all these gold chests and then return <laughs> if we return for them and cry for losing them? Honestly. Just like some random pirate sneaking by, drops a chest, the wizard takes it. I was afraid you'd discover that the green men were involved. This isn't good at all. This is a most distressing turn of events. Still, I have just the thing to deal with the green men and recover the spiral cup. Oh, you do, don't you? Step into my classroom, won't you? And let's see if we can't get you straightened out. I don't want to be straightened out. I think I'm good. Oh, shoot. Looks like there's something over here. There's a hole in the wall. Oh my goodness. I wonder what this could be. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I hadn't anticipated you discovering my connection to the green men so soon. Time to review your homework. Today's subject, traps. Same. I am actually shocked. I cannot believe he would betray us. Like what? He betrays us? Totally was not suspicious, not a trap or anything like that. I can't believe my eyes. I can't believe someone named Chester Drawers would betray us. What the heck? Oh, heck yeah, my pet. <laughs> the only one I can trust in this world. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Whiz puns. Also, yeah, you do have to trap this guy, by the way, for, like, him to not cheat. Which I'm not really getting most of my traps, but I can hit next round. Hopefully I can crit so I can get this guy out. Also, I gotta kind of be careful with them, because they can absorb, and that is, like, the worst life spell an enemy can cast. I think it's, like... 300, 400 damage it absorbs. That is absolutely awful for like small, under leveled wizards. Lower leveled, we'll say, lower leveled wizards. Okay. I need a crit. 
I actually, I can't believe how many traps I have. I have so many traps because of my amulet. Don't you fizz. Thank you. Crit! <laughs> crit! Please, I need a crit! I need a crit. Oh, of course not. Well... Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I figured this guy would still be alive. Um, uh, we don't even need to enchant this. We're more than good. Full health and everything. You think you're slick, Mr. Doors? Oh, now I crit. Of course, when I don't need it. The game loves me. Uh, now that I have been defeated, I can think for myself. Let me get out of this place. Speak to me in the street. Oh, shoot. In the street. I can't believe he betrayed us. That's absolutely bonkers. Bonkers. <laughs> okay, come here. I've never been so thankful for a drubbing, let me tell you. The magical defeat you inflicted has broken the enthrallment Lord Bramble has over me. For a while, I will tell you what I can before his spell reasserts itself. Lord Bramble is the culprit, the one behind the theft. Lord Bramble wants to reclaim all of Wisteria to the wild, overgrown state it was before Pigswick Academy was founded. He wants to discredit Pigswick and to pit Ravenwood against it. That is why he chose to have me frame you for the theft. You must go to Tanglewood Way and defeat Lord Bramble in his tower. He has my soul trapped in a wooden doll. Oh, shoot. Bring it to me. It may be that he still has the spiral cup in his keeping. If it has not been smashed to bits, it will be in Bramble's tower. 29. So close. I was really hoping that we would get level um 30 by the end of this. I think I still have the uh, Marleybone Cats quest to finish. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, I get a few things. So maybe if I do that, finish out Pigswick and do the Wallflowers, maybe I'll get level 30. Maybe. Because, um... I would like to do Mount Olympus next because um, Mount Olympus, I'm gonna do the first run. Oh my god, I'm stuck. The first run, I'm gonna do it as like the walkthrough. Oh god. And then um, this like next few times, I'm gonna do it. Obviously, I'm not gonna get the dialogue because we're gonna have to do it a couple times to get the gear. I'm almost gonna get pulled. Oh my god. Where? Where? Here? But yeah, um. I did do a stream on when I was still streaming on YouTube for my balance wizard and um, it took me maybe three hours to get all the gear for balance. I knew that Draws was weak Deep. and would fail me, but I did not expect him to fall to a mere child. Dang, he got that Come and face your doom. He got that Felix deep voice. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, like, it took me forever, and I swear, I think it was a hat was the only thing I could not get, and I got robes and I got shoes the entire time. Like, every drop from Zeus was just, like, something I didn't need. So, like, um, let's see if I scream again. <laughs> and by scream, I mean in frustration. Um, let's hit you, and then I guess I can hit next. I'll try to, at least. Oh, and a crit, of course. That probably means I'm not gonna crit next time, then. <laughs> Which I hope I do. Please. Please let me crit. Please. Pretty, pretty, please. I could really use a crit right now. Uh-huh, of course. <laughs> Always. Did I not enchant that or something? Why was that so bad? Oh my god, I did not even enchant it. I'm, I'm bugged. I'm bugging. Oh my god. Oh, of course! God, there's nothing that makes me more upset about this game than when, like, you use a TC. Especially, like, when they're kind of limited and you're low on them, then, like, when you crit and use a TC. Like, that is the worst. 
Um, do I have another troll? Do I? What are you doing? If you use the sprite, ah, uh, okay, I was gonna say. Troll, thank you. Um, I don't know if I can kill, so I'm gonna blade and then hit. Watch it then be the time that I crit. When I blade and stuff. That's just how the game is. You never crit when you need to crit. It's always when you don't need to crit. There we go. You dead? Thank you. Lord Bramble drops a small wooden doll, the one Professor Drawer spoke of. <gasps> oh my and god. And there it is, the spiral cup. The spiral cup at last. Dang. You say Sprite, I think about the soda. I feel you, I feel you. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of like soda. I think the only sodas I really like are like the Fantas. Because I don't know, there's something about like the, the fizzy the word um i don't remember what the word is but like you know the fizziness of the sodas like it kind of hurts when you drink it <laughs> i don't know if that's just me but like i don't drink that many sodas you have defeated lord bramble and put a stop to his madness and with that wooden doll my soul is now mine again go tell headmistress crisp that the spiral cup is recovered oh shoot. and the dastardly plot is at an end why are you raising your voice mr drawers Honestly, we need like 50,000, 50 trillion million crowns for that crown, for that, um, spiral cup. If I, like, sell it, I expect to be able to buy a house. <laughs> oh, coincidence that you have Sprite. Oh, nice. Well, well, well. You have been busy. I have. I'm relieved to put the matter of the missing spiral cup behind us. And I apologize for our suspicions. Yeah. Could you be so kind as to return the cap to the tournament hall and to speak to Master uh, Glenn uh, about your final match? Uh, uh, uh. I feel like she should say that, to be fair. I feel like she needs to say that. <laughs> it fits her. It fits. Also, dang. Pixbook is not even, like, two hours long. What the heck? I'm, like, right at the level two. Like, 25, I think, is, like, where you need to be. So it's not really hard, not gonna lie. Do, 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 do. You return the spiral cup to its proper place. Okay, one more battle, one more battle. One more round. I thank you for restoring the spiral cup to its rightful place. Though you have proved a worthy duelist, I feel it will stay here. The student you face for your final round of the tournament is none other than Randolph Spellshine. Randolph is my greatest pupil, the finest student I have ever taught in all of my years at Pigsvik Academy. Still, you must at least attempt the formality of the duel. Go to the Hall of the Gorgon to face your defeat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I missed the million dollar idea for the new merch being Morgan and Belladonna. Honestly, honestly, if they made more, like, merch for, like... Like, okay, if, like, King's Isle made merch that was like acrylic stands at least of characters. I would buy that. I would eat that up. That would be amazing. Like pins or something. Like I like the plushies, but like I'm not a big plushie person. So I didn't think you'd show up. Well, you've had a good run, but this is where you meet your better. Meet my better. Mhm. Mm but yeah, if they did something like if they got like like enamel pins or like um like the little acrylic stands like for example i'll show you guys what i mean if you don't know what i mean off the bat okay for uh, for example this is mimi from rezo this is an acrylic stand you see it's acrylic so if they did something like that for like the whiz characters that would be so cool. You know, like, if you could make, like, the characters as, like, acrylic stands for, like, official merch. Like, maybe do some, like, specialty art or something. That would be so cool. You know? So cool. Mm -hmm. 
Shelf is impressive. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I would love something more than just like plushies or something, you know? I know they did, did like shirts and stuff, but like... I wish that they did a little bit more creativity with merch, you know? I know when I'm beaten, though I can barely believe it. You're a better wizard than I am, by far. Go and tell Master <laughs> Glenn Deming that you've defeated the best that Pigswick Academy has to offer. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, though, I feel like Chester Drawers is probably the hardest one here, boss-wise. Not even Randolph. He's not that difficult, not gonna lie. Like, his whole thing is, like, you need to shield, but, like, honestly, you really don't have to. <laughs> really, is the pig. Is the pig the best offer? I guess not. I won, so, hmm. Unbelievable. This hall will be the emptier for the lack of the cup that has adorned it for so long. Go and tell Headmistress Crisp that Pigswick's record is broken. <laughs> and that Ravenwood is the winner now. Yeah. Ravenwood. Ravenwood. That's what happens when you believe in a stupid fountain and not the great tree. I mean, the tree literally speaks, too. He's, like, he's missing an eye and everything. How can you not, like, you know, see that as, like, a magical being? How does that feel? Great, actually. I can't say I'm pleased to see the Spiral Cup leaving our care, but it truly went to the best wizard in the tournament. Return to Wizard City and tell Headmaster Ambrose of your victory. But remind him that next year, we will take the cup back. Oh, will you? Oh, will you? Uh, 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 uh. I can't do that very well. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just hard for me to roll my R kind. Of. I mean, it's not really rolled, but like. accentuated, maybe? I don't know. Okay. Uh, once again, there are a few things that I need to do to kind of like clean up. Uh, before we go. I want to say Mount Olympus. I want to do Mount Olympus next. How was your term abroad? Very interesting. Oh, you've done your school Heck proud yeah. and showed them what true wizards are made of. Extra credit for you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. We get new stuff? We get badge alerts now? Huh. Okay, anytime I see oi oi oi, I always think of Levi Ackerman. <laughs> My attack on Titan phase was strong strong literally it's been years and they finally finished attack on titan like i cannot believe how long it took <laughs> kind of crazy but uh it, it was good it was worth it okay it's still the dragonfly and i have this so i don't want that again oh do i need to claim no okay i think i claimed them already oh yeah zoro sanji honestly I need to start watching One Piece again. I got all the way up to um, Alabasta. They're like with um, the Princess Vivi. And like, I don't know. I just, I'm not a big fan of Alabaster. Not a big fan of it. Um, okay. Actually, you know what? I was gonna buy stuff, but we're almost level 30. So I feel like it doesn't really make sense. So let's go talk to uh, the professor real quick. Oh, you're waiting for the new manga chapters, the current arc of Spire? Oh, I haven't got there yet. I'm so far behind. Like, I started watching One Piece, um, I guess, like, the middle of, like, last year. Um, I watched it, like, about a month before the live action came out. Just because I wanted to, like, kind of get into it before I watched the live action. Because so many people were saying, like, you need to watch the live action. And I really liked it. I didn't think I was going to like it because the art style, but I really do like One Piece. Okay, so it is apparently a quest. You've made it thus far. Maybe you are not as worthless as you look. But you'll have to prove it to me. For your next spell, you'll need to find the Seraph Lady Sylvan. Oh. She will give you your own unique chant for the spell. The spell is useless without it. Lady Sylvan is quite the busybody, so she could be anywhere. You might ask her sister Lady Oriel as to her whereabouts now. Be on your way. Be on your way. How much do I get XP-wise? 800? 
Hmm. E I thought that Wisteria was gonna give us more uh, XP, but. Mm. I'm not gonna lie though, with One Piece, I really think Nami's arc was my favorite. The whole like uh, backstory about like her, um, what was her name? Her mom was like Bella something, kind of like Belladonna, but not really. <laughs> um, and then her sister and like Arlon. I really liked that arc. That one was good. I also liked um, the one with Chopper. I like Chopper. Chopper honestly might be my favorite One Piece character so far. Because I'm not super far into it. I'm like a couple seasons into it. Oh, I think I started in like 2015 and 2017. I got up to the anime, but I also took breaks because I didn't want to wait one week for the episode. Ah, I gotcha, I gotcha. You like the adaptation? I did too. I, did, I didn't finish it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I didn't finish it because I was like, I like this, but I just watched the anime. So I was like, this is, I'm like practically rewatching everything I already watched. So I kind of stopped after I got like a couple episodes in but it was really good i really like how they kind of took buggy and like made him sexy <laughs> not gonna lie buggy was always sexy like damn that like, i want to honk that nose you are looking for my sister i haven't seen her in quite some time she had gone off to see dwargan to cheer him up oh. he looks so sad all the time I would go visit him over at the death school to see if he has a clue to her whereabouts. The death school? If you school. can, do something to help bring joy into his life. Cheers! Doesn't this quest take us to Marleybone? <laughs> I feel like I remember her being in Marleybone or something like that. Like, isn't she imprisoned or something? Oh, they removed some things and added characters that weren't there in the anime, but it was still good since the script was Oda approved. Yeah, I, I did see that people were talking about um, Oda approved all of the character actresses and actors. So yeah, that's cool at least. Also, I really do think that they did um, Kobe the best because like he looks perfect, like spot on. You were looking for Lady Sylvan? No, she has not come by lately. Oh, she's always trying to cheer me up. What's wrong with being glum? Right. I'd suggest looking around Nightside. Knowing her, she's found someone else to cheer up. Hey, maybe it's not Marleybone. <laughs> the Luffy actor uh, used to come on set with the car listing at max volume to John Cena. Oh my god, that honestly... That sounds so Luffy cool. Morty shakes his branches and rustles his leaves as if to get your attention. You could just, like, call out to me, Mortis. I heard you say you are looking for Lady Sylvan. Oh, I overheard you talking to Dwarken inside. And yes, I have extremely good ears for a tree. Oh. I heard her talking with someone in the passageway. I think she decided to follow them. By the sound of it, she was trying to cheer them up. Given his accent, oh. I'd say the stranger was from Marleybone. Go there and talk to the first person you see after exiting the spiral. I'd bet all my leaves that she's talked to them. Oh, okay. So apparently she is a talker. She do talk a lot. Dude, dude why is the loading screen so long? Hello? <laughs> my god, that took ages. Took moons. Actual moons. I honestly don't remember what we get from this quest. I have no clue. It's probably something bad, to be honest. Probably something I will never use. But, you know, might as well do it. You say you're looking for a seraph. Yes, one did pass through here. How Why could are you I so forget? Close? She kept trying to cheer me up. Not that I need it. Why is he so close to me? She was with one of the Claw brothers, though. They are usually bad elements, you know the type, looking for shortcuts to wealth. They reside over in the Chelsea Court area. Check with Lord Barker. He keeps a sharp eye on that area, if you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I was right. We are in Marlebone. Yeah, I don't know why they put his character model so close to me. Like, dang. I could smell his doggy breath, and it did not smell good. Did not. Chelsea Court. Chelsea Court. Honestly, I'm doing a lot of work for 800 XP. Like, 
At least give me a thousand or something. Chelsea Court. Okay, Lord Barker, I remember you. Oh, shoot. I don't have cantrips on this character. I don't know that I would get cantrips because I feel like they're not super like important. Oh, where is he? Did I get this cat? I don't think I did. Okay. Lord Barker, where are you? I thought it was Williams Pugsby. That's who I was going to. Um, okay, let's go back to the balloon car. Oh, you're right over here. Yes, I remember seeing a seraph. She was accompanied by one of the Claw brothers. I remember it because he looked very tired. I think he was annoyed by all her chatting. The Claw's hideaway has a bunch of hooligans out front. They should be a pushover for the likes of you. But look out, the Claw brothers do not take kindly to visit. Say. I knew you were going to try to give me that. And I don't want it. Defeat Ken Kennedy? Kennedy? Kennedy, maybe? Kennedy, yeah. Where is that? Oh, okay, over by the yellow one. Yellow. Oh my god, yellow! Here? Wow. Oh, shoot! Okay, make sure I got stuff in my deck. You gonna speak? What? A wizard, you must be here to take back this little lady. We hear Seraphs can make iron into gold, so you're gonna have to fight us for her. Oh shoot, I'm gonna have to fight her? Or I'm gonna have to fight for her? Oh my god, you did not. Oh my god, you suck. <laughs> oh my god, what is with these people today being so bad? I mean, at least I have one of those things, the little things to get it off, at least. Oh, I'm farming with uh, cantrips with uh, three accounts, and it takes me like two hours to switch to all those wizards and use their energy. I'm farming now for the rank seven spells. Gotcha. Honestly, that's got to be tiring. Okay, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to put a blade, and then I'm going to hit. That's my goal. Wow. Okay. Gonna blade and then we're gonna hit. Just in case. If I can get my pet to heal, that would be great. So I'm starting to get a little low on health. You know, you could help back there instead of just staring. I need to do that like two more times and then I have my Stormlord at max. Oh shoot, that's nice. Okay, we'll hit now. We're gonna hit now. Okay, I'm really low on health though. A little bit too low for comfort. Okay, you're gonna hit me with my own spell. That's kind of rude. Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh, I'm a little scared now. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm a little scared. Pet, I need you to heal. I actually really need you to heal. Oh my god, pet. Oh my god, my pet needs to heal. Oh my god, I'm actually so scared right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, part two! <laughs> Layla! <laughs> Did you jump scare me? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's oh, it's kind of funny because like I can hear it and I can't like see it. Like I like hear it before I see it. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I did say I was scared before. Is that why? Is that why I got jump scared, Layla? <laughs> oh shoot! I um, I'm a little nervous. Can I get? Okay, you know what? I I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> I'm gonna buy one of these guys just cause I don't want to risk it. I'm kind of worried. 
I figured you were gonna do a three pip spell. I'm kind of worried about this one. <laughs> it's always so funny with that jump scare because like I can hear it, but I can't see it until like like maybe a second later because my stream is delayed. <laughs> oh my god, the jump scare. Oh shoot, he actually bladed me. Here you go, please. Okay, okay. Yeah, you can do that all you want. You can do that all you want. Okay, I didn't really need a minion, but I was kind of scared. Never mind, I am scared. I'm still scared. I'm still fearing for my life right now. What are you talking about? I'm terrified. Oh. I just want to save the Seraph lady, please. Stop the fizzle. Stop the cap. Oh my god. You had better not fizzle. Okay, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Get out of here. Where you at? Hey yo. They were expecting me to make gold out of iron? Some still believe in that myth. I came here because I thought they needed cheering up. I think that's actually Lady Oriole's, like, old, um, voice actor, by the way. So, you have traveled all this way to find me. You must be in need of some cheering up. Let me tell you all the jokes I know. Oh, you need a chant for your next myth spell? I can do that instead. She closes her eyes and begins to sing. The words are ancient, but surprisingly memorable, as if they were always a part of you. Go now. Repeat what you have heard to Cyrus. Maybe it will cheer him up. Probably not. He's the only person I have not been able to make happy. Yeah, I wonder why. Um, cool, I like how she's got her own like little soundtrack and everything. I honestly, yeah, I would have died without the healing. <laughs> Probably a good thing I did put in that minion then. Well, you sure took your time in returning. Where is the chant that Lady Sylvan gave to you? Surely you did not return without it. Shut your lips and I'll give it to you. <laughs> repeat the song that Lady Sylvan gave to you. Cyrus appears somewhat changed. For a moment, he smiles. He doesn't look like he's smiling. Well, I must admit that was not bad. Not bad at all. It proves that the lady did find favor in you. And so, the song has produced your next spell. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, Cyrus. All that work for a, for a stun? I mean, it's the- it's literally the same spell that you get for ice, and it's like, you get that within, like, level 5. That's kind of balls. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're gonna go to Croc now so we can get our stuff. Get our blades and traps. Also, I probably should also go to uh, Colossus Boulevard so I can get um, that, like, little, what's it called? Reshuffle? Reshuffle. Oh my god, the cat arms. That's amazing. Oh my god, I love that. I wonder if people who have, like, pets like that cat, like, the ones who are memes, I wonder if they, like, you know, if people, like, recognize the cat or anything, like, at the vet or something, at, like, if you get a dog on walks. I wonder how they feel about the fact that their pets are more famous than they are. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Train. Blade. Okay. Now we gotta go to Colossus. Get that reshuffle real quick. Do 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 do. I honestly I can't believe um how short Wisteria was. Like I think it took us roughly about an hour and forty minutes. Maybe I want to say maybe about an hour and thirty. I'm gonna say an hour and a half because I did use the bathroom and I did have my like five minutes starting screen. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt and say that Wisteria takes about an hour and a half. Cause like, okay, when I do these like, uh, the myth walkthroughs, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda do it because I wanna know how long the areas take. If I were just like, going, you know, I wanna know how long they all take. 
Especially, like, for a myth. So, yeah. Um, this way, this way. Wood chest. Hello. Um, you know what? Give me that. It's free. I'll take it. Uh, reshuffle. I will take that. Will indeed take that. Um, I don't think I need as many of these things. I don't need any of those. Um, I think we're good. I think our deck looks pretty good. Um, I guess they can go look for some more TC. Let's just see if there's any in the shop right now. I was gonna change my outfit, but I mean, we're going to Mount Olympus next, so like... It's not really that big of a deal. I will need to get some more crowns though, because um, once I get my, uh, what's it called? I want the Zeus gear. I don't really want the Senators. I want the Zeus, because the Zeus is much better. <laughs> um, once I get the Zeus gear, I will stitch it, and I'll probably keep that all the way until Waterworks, because I already have Waterworks gear for a Myth Wizard that I had previously, and like, I don't know why I didn't keep the Mount Olympus gear, but like, I don't know. Emily's brain was not working back then, I guess. Um, let's actually try to buy first. There we go. 35. We'll take those. We take that. Okay, now let's kind of clean up our backpack a bit. After every world, I want to try to, like, clean up my backpack. Because I, I don't need a lot. I'm probably not going to do anything like crafting or anything like that on this character. So I don't feel like I really need that much. Oh dang, I can't even get rid of that. The pig's wick. Oh god. When did we get the pig's wick uniform? Like, at the end? Because that does not make sense to get the, the outfit at the end of the world. Why is there so many, like, vestments? Oh shoot, why is this one more expensive than mine? Yeah, I think I'll update everything at level 32, so it's not that big of a deal. Scarab, clock, spiral cup. We can keep the spiral cup. And I'm probably not gonna farm or anything like that on this account. Okay, let's sell down here. Oh, after defeating the first boss? Oh, really? Okay, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see that then. Because, like, usually, like, for my storm walkthrough, I change, um, my outfit every, uh, dang, I got a lot of pets, every, uh, what's it called, world. And so, um, I go in there and I honestly just, like, uh, will go and buy something before. So, like, you can go and get the pig's wick stuff beforehand at the crown shop. Uh, that one might be good. Can I do anything with my pet? Okay, I can actually. Yeah, let's put in this- I- actually, you know what? This is actually pretty good. That's pretty good. I might actually keep that there unless I get a better accuracy one. That's actually pretty good for me. Where? Where? Accuracy. Okay, seven. So then that'll be... Uh, 87%? That's much better. It's much better. Much, much better. But yeah, that's where I think I will end the episode for today. If you want to watch the full thing, check it out on YouTube at Glitter Games. I can put that in chat. But um, I will go and do um, the the cats and the wallflower quest. I'll do those like just kind of like on my own so I can speed run through them. But yeah, that's going to be it for uh, me today so thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out and joining me on this like i guess pretty pretty small stream next episode should be mount olympus so that's gonna be fun um i will if i am not level 30 i'll do some side quests and just get to level 30 so next time i will see you guys for mount olympus um, let me check real quick if, uh, if there's any friends online who I can raid. Because I'd like to try to raid if, um, I have people, but let's see. Let's see. 
Um, I don't think any, literally no one that I even follow is live right now. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, anyway, that's going to be it for me today. So thank you guys so much for coming, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.